Hey YouTube, Dave Mack here, driving on FSD Beta 11.4.1. I'll tell you what, I think there are some improvements, definitely from the 11.3.x series. 11.3.1 was my favorite, and I think had some behavior, um, although that was pretty good getting out of this parking lot. Uh, that was some of the smoothest I've seen yet. Some of that is back. But there are a few regressions, uh, still some mistakes. In the first couple days, I did have it have problems getting off at some um, exit ramps from minor highways, but those seem to have been uh, fixed. At least they went back to the way they were before. So, and that's without an update. So I am seeing some things that are good, some things that are not so good. Still moving forward steps forward steps back but overall I think we're making progress especially on this version with um, smoothness specifically one thing I'll show you up coming up here which is uh, turning from one you have to turn from one lane into another that has uh, basically multiple turn lanes instead of stair stepping to get over it makes the smoothest motion I've seen yet and that was really nice in predicting that car and then getting over. Really nice. So yeah, I mean, we are making progress. Uh, in fact, that's why for this video, uh, just a little bit ago, I recorded with one of my friends who I took for a ride last year and he had some comments on the changes and the improvements that he's seen since he has not been in uh, a, a car with or Tesla with full self driving in over a year. All right, now I am predicting that this exit is going to not be great. It was perfect in 11.3.1 where it would actually get off and stay to the left, uh, it'll, it, then it kind of reverted to uh, missing the exit, and then, which is it going to do that now? Yeah, I just put on the blinker way too late, so I'm going to do it myself. Missed exit. Um, and so the weird thing is I've seen some behavior that's back and forth. Sometimes on 11.4.1, it misses that exit and puts the turn signal on at the very last minute which it's never done in the past few years of testing this software and then uh, earlier today it stuck to the right of the lane again and did a swerve to the left anyway here we are let's see if it goes perfectly into the right lane which it does that is what I've been looking for for a very long time and I'm finally happy to see it this video is brought to you by Babbel. Babbel is a language learning app that you can use to learn a new language in as little as 10 minutes per day. And here's the really cool thing for Tesla owners. While you are at a supercharger waiting for your car to charge, you can learn languages right in the Tesla browser. Portuguese. So to get Babbel, just click on my link below, and when you do, you will get 60% off, and you can start learning a new language today. Okay, so now we're going to head out and pick up my friend Dana, who's driven in the car once with FSD Beta, but it was over a year ago. Let's see if he's impressed with the differences. It's version 11.4. And uh, this version, they have finally integrated the highway with the roads. So now... It, on the highway, it actually uses the beta software. And it doesn't beep at you for your hands off anymore. Is that, I think that's a change. It does, um, it's still like a 30 second timer. I think it, it okay. up to two minutes. If I like even just like do this, it kind of resets. See, it was just saying there that there was a problem. But the thing that I found, so they put out 11.3 a couple months ago, it was supposed to come out Thanksgiving, and then the, they had the, you probably saw the recall on the news. It was kind of recall, yeah. And they didn't put the software out until like February. And I got this version, and this was the first one that I'm like, ex except for when it makes mistakes, which it still does. 
this was the most human-like driving I've seen. Especially after being in a bunch of Uber, Uber Ubers lately where they're horrible. <laughs> I mean, like, so there was a little jerk Swear there. for some reason. That's a pain. But, but for the most part, like I said, that previous version, then it got worse and now it's better, but not perfect, was the first time I was like, wow, this is working. And uh, one of the other guys, Chuck Cook, he posted a tweet, a tweet today saying that there's going to be, because Elon mentioned it in his interview the other day, there might be a chat GPT-like moment where they've been developing that for years, right? But the public is finally like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah, it is. Like, this is working. Awesome tool, by the way. <laughs> I've been using the heck out of it. So, like I said, except for when it's a little jerky or makes mistakes, overall, I'm finding this version to be like... Wow, it's if I didn't tell you I wasn't driving, would you know? I mean, I'm not doing anything. Even yeah. here, I put this route in today. I didn't realize that they were doing construction, and so it's got these temporary lines, and it's you know still working. That's pretty impressive. Now it's not. It's huge, so it's not even sure quite where to be. And like, okay, so it sees there's a car here, and it's like, oh. I'll report that because, you know, that's not good. It basically needs no. to just stay to the left. And it was doing that before, kind of back and forth. It's kind of confused right now. So, the I wish they'd make it so I didn't have to take out the waypoints manually. But here is a huge improvement. This is, well, again, the lanes are kind of screwed up. So does it have problems in country roads? Um, actually, I think the reason it did that is because it doesn't have a route yet. <laughs> but he, check this out. Making me a little nervous. <laughs> uh, check this out. Yeah, I'll report that too. But this part is, so that's not great, but I reported it. This part is great. This is a place where we got high speed traffic. Right. Obviously, I'll be paying attention. It has to find the gaps, and the visibility isn't too great over there, so it has to place itself in that median and be able to wait for the traffic. Oh yeah, this is a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, 18 wheeler or something coming. So it's probably it could inch forward. It says, see it's got see it's got this line. I would go now. You could see where it's 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 a barrier and it's going, but it's creeping forward for visibility. Oh it wants to go left. I'm sorry. Yeah we're going I, left. Yeah my mistake. I would not have gone. <laughs> okay so it looks like uh, that could be a good gap. Yep. Yeah, I think it, it should go after this. And it yep. did. And, we're and now it's clear, so it's just going straight through. But anytime there's any traffic coming over that hill, yeah. it will perch in that medium. Will it perch? Okay. Which is a normal thing for drivers to do. Yeah. So, to me, that is amazing. So, I mean, you were, <clears throat> you drove this uh, probably a year ago, right? I think so don't you realize what do you think about the differences i think it's a lot better the only issue was the the paint i i think that one section uh i feel it i don't know you're the one <laughs> not driving do you feel comfortable uh i, I mean, just felt like it started veering off too much and it got confused it started coming to that rock bed well, and it slowed down but i'm wondering if it would have corrected if you let it go a little bit longer part of that was because there was no route in when i was recalculating for the waypoint but here, like, this used to... I would not even let it do this because yeah. it would practically drive off the road right there. And then you'd have some damage. And it wouldn't slow down. And now it, it's, you know, it's going... It's set to go 40, but it is automatically realizing this is way too curvy. I'm going to go 15 yep. miles an hour. Yeah, this, this feels like a human's driving it. So... I think that someone that's never been in a Tesla or, you know, experienced this kind of software would be just blown away. 
I mean, I'd say it, it, it's better than a human driving because, like, a human will, like, s like tap the gas, tap the brake, where this is uh, just a smoother ride. And it's slowing down, like yeah, I said. Yeah, it's real comfortable on the curves. So we'll try this one more thing here before we, uh, instead of taking a left, take a right, then we'll loop back. But this, it used to uh, stair step any time it had to make lane changes, so it was not good at going from one lane straight to the other. Okay. So when you come out of here, we'll see how it does today, but on the latest 11 versions, version 11, it's uh, finally... So here's a two-way stop. Yep. We gotta make sure there's no traffic, then it's gotta get all the way into that right lane. And it used to try to get into the middle lane, and yeah. then... And you got a biker, a pedestrian, and all kinds of <laughs> threat vectors right here. And it, look, it just finally, for the first time ever on this version, went all the way over into the right lane. Nice. Yeah, you can see, you got a pedestrian here, right... Taking it's cautious. Right on red. No problem. Yeah. Perfect. Here's a flashing yellow. Is it gonna wait? I don't know. <laughs> if it goes anymore, I'm gonna hit the brake. <laughs> So another unprotected left, and it's hard to time these to get them on purpose, but uh, it could have gone there. Yeah. But, oh, there's a car flying around someone else. This is tricky. I would rather it be patient than not. <laughs> Maybe here. Eh, nope. It's gonna go. Oh. Oh, it's because the light turned. So they were yeah. stopping. I didn't even realize that. No. <laughs> but I bet you if you looked at the screen, because I think it could see the yellow light that it was turning red. I think you're right. I think the GUI looks different too. Yeah, I don't remember if the when last time you were in here it was the wireframe. Like I, it was. I think it was more wireframe. Atari. This, this looks pretty cool. Like I, I can see these car. I can't see these cars, but I can see them on the picture. There's a truck coming, but there's a barrier right here. That's pretty slick. Yeah, because the camera is up here. Yeah. I don't remember the lights either, to be honest, in the wireframe, but I just don't remember yeah. it that well. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So what kind of control do you have with the speed, setting the speed limit? Like, I can change the max here. Is it here. governed to a point? You, uh, you can set it to a speed limit per like number or percent. So I have it 13% above the limit. Okay. Because that way it's not... It's only like five miles over in a 35, but it's nine over in a 55. Nice. Or 65. So, but theoretically, you could break the law and book it at 100 right now if you wanted to. I think it's limited to 90. Okay. <laughs> testing that. Yeah, well maybe in those roads like Montana where the speed limit's like 75, <laughs> you give it a shot. I don't know what the what the speed limits are down south. Sometimes a little bit faster, but not, um, not that much different. Yeah, 
mean, it's... To me, it's amazing. Yeah, it's come, it's come a long way. Like, it's, it's real close. And forever, Look this intersection sign. was really hard. Let's see, it's got to see that sign. It Ooh, does. There it goes. It's slow now. But like forever, like this was really hard. Yeah. And now it's just natural. You know, if you want a challenge, you should try to hit this intersection at. 3.30 when school lets out with all the walkers. <laughs> well, yeah, the, you know, the problem is people in general around here, and you probably know more because you go to this intersection probably every day, <laughs> yeah. are, uh, they don't, people don't know how to use stop signs anyway. So if you, you take the fact that people are just going and not... Well, and you have a crossing guard. There's usually a lady out here that's directing traffic. I'm wondering if the technology knows how to compensate for that. I was at this intersection with her once, and uh, let's see what happens here, because I think they're highlighted blue saying they have the right of way. I mean, that was not bad. No, not at all. And she was putting her hand out, and my car kept going, and I think I, I don't know, I think they were taking that feedback, so anyway. Uh, yeah, it's come a long way.